Hello, Please Chris. do not smoke in the town. How are you doing? I see my flight. How did you enjoy your flight? Are you here to join us celebrate our Independence Day? I don't know about that. Well, let me tell you a little just about we the Ethiopians. Oh. Ethiopia on this day, 5th May in 1941, marks the day we gain our independence from the Italians. Really? And from Hellas Selassie, our survivor he fought for the Italians wow. and then he defended and he conquered the Italians celebrate I know you know Hell Selassie so you would help me sing this song there is a life far, far, far away it's mm -hmm. called La Disaba wow. yes a Disaba is it means new flower. As a flower, it is well natured and grown to put Ethiopia on the map. That is why we search on your phones today on Google as the Horn of Africa, Ethiopia would come out there. Isn't that amazing? And the Horn such as one of the longest and oldest countries in the world. And yes, we are the first independent nation to sign the Charter of United Nations, and we have given moral and material decolonization of Africa. That is why Addis Ababa is the headquarters for the African Union hosting. Why wouldn't you appreciate we the Ethiopians with this initiative to give African power the power to rule on their own? Isn't that amazing? Don't you become happy when your kids dressed up in beautiful colors to adore the African Union Day? I want to hear you. Don't you get excited? That is why we the Ethiopians Known as people have never been colonized by any Ethiopian rule. We are colonized free. I want to tell you all we the Ethiopians, one thing about our calendar is that we are seven years and three months different. I want to show you a very beautiful thing about us. This is our flag, and we have fought long and well to get this flag. All the powers represent something that makes us very strong, and we welcome a breed of about 100 languages with 80 different ethnic groups. 80 groups is not easy, but a country peaceful with a lot of people is so amazing, right? We are so peaceful and we have kept that peace. When you visit Ethiopia, we have some of the hottest places, like the hottest place, yet people go there to mine salt. We have the axiom, and it's even believed that the Ten Commandments you and I know and we haven't seen is found in Ethiopia. Wouldn't you like to go and see it? You have to come and see the Ten Commandments. And even though the Pope that is having access to see hasn't even seen it, but we believe we have it in our country. That is Ethiopia for you. When you talk, it is distinct in our language, our dressing, and our extended family. That is why we dance the Eskete dance. Since you're here and you're in an independence era, I know you would go on. Afterwards. So all you have to do, if you want to join me, kindly sit on your feet and put your hands on your shoulder and your shoulder and your tie and you go like this. dance that is why when you're done dancing all you need to do is hit the streets of Ethiopia for our distinguished cuisine we have the alachis the wad and the popular injera bread this is eaten with stew spices aromatic vegetables with the exception of pork and all your favorite baileys wheat oats you all enjoy in your various countries are grown in Ethiopia what are you waiting for? Before I leave, I'll prepare our amazing popular tea for you. Would you like to have a taste? Yeah. I'll do that for you. And as you see, I know your time is up. Yes, I need to catch my next flight. Don't so, worry. So you go. Thank you. Thank you.
Don't Let's worry. Listen. I'm going to wait here. My friend, ladies and gentlemen, without Karen's female president, Shahid would break down. She's working very hard, and she has done a lot for Ethiopia. And so now we still stand as a very great country. Aren't you proud of Ethiopia? What do you have? From airplanes to crops to human resources to tourist societies, we are there. We are known as the best when it comes to Africa. That is why we are the oldest country in Ghana. Oh, sorry, the oldest country in the. Thank you, <laughs> Mali.